So an imaginal approach then regards the dream from these two traditions in dialogue as a nightly education, inviting the dreamer to try on like an actor gets into character, to try on a new body of understanding through embodied enactment of the dream figure. So you see how that follows. If it is another country and it has its own language, then the imaginal approach begins with an education inviting you, the dreamer, to try on a new body of understanding through the embodied enactment of the dream figures. This approach opens a space for the dream to make sense of the dreamer. And this is very important. This approach opens a space for the dreamer, uh, for the dream to make sense of the dreamer before the dreamer tries to make sense of the dream. So it inverts that. The dream already makes sense of us before we try to make sense of it. And as we go along, we will see that I think a lot of depth psychology makes the mistake of staying in translation of the dream image into the language of the waking mind. So an imaginal approach to dream work does not re, uh, replace, and this is another important point I want to make, I'm not arguing to replace traditional methods of dream interpretation, amplification, working with symbols, decoding the symbols, etc. I'm only saying that this approach that comes out of this dialogue between the two traditions is the first step in working with a dream. <laughs>